from a solar storm that could cause a global internet outage to the big one, the great earthquake that could wipe California off the map. Here are some natural disasters that are likely to happen one day. Researchers all over the world spend their time conducting advanced studies in various fields with the aim of finding solutions to tomorrow's problems. However, it just so happens that there is a real problem today for which a solution has not yet been found. A solar storm or a solar flare could hit the planet Earth and cut off the internet for several weeks or more. In case you don't know what we are talking about, a solar flare is a phenomenon that consists of a solar wind composed of charged particles, which is quite strong and can reach our planet and affect the communication and electrical networks as well as the navigation systems. Indeed, the repeaters of the submarine cables are sensitive to the geomagnetic currents, which are generated by the charged particles coming from the sun, and even the satellites and sharing the connections could be damaged by a solar storm. The best known solar flare to date is the one that occurred in 1859, known as the Carrington Event after the English astronomer Richard Carrington, who studied the phenomenon it damaged the telegraph network at the time. Faced with this possible phenomenon that could happen at any time, researchers have looked into the various possibilities to predict in case of the storm. Certainly, they would have found some very valuable clues to understanding all types of solar flares, especially after the one that occurred in March 2016. But this has only made the work harder for these researchers, who remind the world that it would be necessary to prepare for a global blackout of the internet network that could last a long time in case of a solar storm, because precisely the global internet system is not prepared for this kind of phenomenon. Moreover, these people also point out that more cables must be installed at low latitudes before it is too late. One thing reassures these researchers, however. Solar storms rarely affect our planet. Rarely but not always. And this possibility, however small, has made researchers very skeptical for some time. Volcanologists have the enormous task of closely studying the activity of a volcano, especially if a possible eruption is brewing, in order to be able to act in time by alerting the population living near the volcano. But for some time, these scientists have been facing a particularly formidable volcanic eruption, that of Mount Peel in Martinique whose deadly eruption of May the 8th, 1902 had killed 30,000 people and leveled the city of Saint-Pierre. Indeed, it seems that this volcano is gradually waking up, and volcanologists are preparing for a new disaster by continuously and closely monitoring this explosive type of volcano, whose seismic activity has increased according to the Volcanological and Seismological Observatory of Martinique. Thanks to this monitoring and the technology they have these days, these people know pretty much what is going on under the Grand Dam of the North. But at the same time, it gives them creeps at the thought that a new scenario, similar to the one in 1902, could happen again. But at least this time they will have time to react more quickly and alert the authorities, who will evacuate the inhabitants. Faced with this risk, scientists have become increasingly vigilant. In the United States, the inhabitants of the state of California can boast of having sunshine all year round and a much milder climate than in other American states, a good reason for them to never want to leave California to live elsewhere. But everything is not rosy in life as they say. Indeed, despite the good climate they enjoy, Californians are confronted every day with a threatening reality, the San Andreas Fault a geological fault with a length of 1300 kilometers and a width of 140 kilometers. If you haven't already heard, this fault system could result in the big one, an extremely strong earthquake, up to 8.5 on the Richter scale, that could devastate the southwest coast of the United States. With numerous earthquakes, such as the one in San Francisco in 1906 or the two earthquakes that hit the region two days in a row in 2019, Californians have become accustomed to the seismic activity of their state and almost all of them have managed to overcome their fear of earthquakes for a long time. 
helped in particular by the studies carried out regularly by seismologists who take a close interest in this region. However, these scientific data and studies that never end are chilling and they have ended up confusing the minds of many Californians who now live under the threat of the big one. What reassures them, however, is that an earthquake with a magnitude greater than 8 is not likely to occur before the next three decades. Moreover, this possible disaster is estimated at only 7%, according to seismologists. This information does not prevent Californians from being on the alert. The inhabitants of Tajikistan enjoy one of the most impressive and breathtaking natural wonders of Central Asia and the world. This is Lake Saras, a large body of water, 55.8 kilometers long and about 505 meters deep, for which the people of this country always want to attract the attention of the world. Not only for its breathtaking beauty, but for a much more serious reason. Because the Saras Lake represents a very big danger for them. As a reminder, this lake was formed in 1911 as a result of a powerful earthquake that caused a landslide, which gave birth to the Uzoi Dam, which is considered the largest natural dam in the world, with its 5 kilometers long, 3.2 kilometers wide and its height of almost 570 meters. The Saras Lake has thus taken shape in this dam and over time these people have become accustomed to seeing this huge body of fresh water, enjoying in spite of themselves a magnificent view and one of the most beautiful natural landscapes in the country. However, this view increases their concern day by day, because Lake Saras could one day cause the world's natural disaster in the history of humanity, according to the UN. Indeed, the region where this lake is located is considered one of the most earthquake-prone areas in the world. However, an earthquake could cause a rupture of the dam and thus the spilling of the waters of the lake. A simple strong tremor and here is all the zone engulfed by a wall of water of approximately 30 meters high. According to the UN, this catastrophe could affect millions of people, including a neighboring country such as Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan and Kazakhstan. What makes things even more delicate is that the area where this lake is located in the Pamir mountains is remote and inaccessible, which is a real obstacle for possible technical solutions. However, the inhabitants of this country have recently felt their concern diminish somewhat when they learned that other solutions have been suggested, such as the construction of a tunnel under the lake in order to drain good quantities of water. On the other hand, a plan has been made to use the water as drinking water for the country and neighboring Uzbekistan, which would lower the level of the lake and reduce the risk of overflow. But despite all this, and despite the little hope that exists, nothing could ever completely calm the people of Tajikistan, including the authorities and experts. You are a great lover of woods and forests, and like many people who share your passion, you will like to explore the largest and most famous forests in the world. But how about a trip to a ghost forest? You're surprised, aren't you? Then you should know that there is a forest called Nascoan Ghost Forest. Now you open your ears to learn a little more about this forest that is located in a small coastal town called Nascoan in the state of Oregon in the United States. Well, it is an ancient Sitka spruce forest, which was estimated to be between 45 and 60 meters high and which would have died hundreds of years earlier, probably because of an earthquake. This earthquake would have caused a tsunami that would have destroyed the trees and enveloped what was left of them in sand. The stems of these trees remained hidden under the sand for a few centuries, until they appeared again during the winter of 1997 to 1998. The passage of a violent storm over the area ended up eroding part of the beach and revealing the remains of this ghost forest. And that's it! Your curiosity is satisfied, isn't it? Of course, it must have saddened you a bit to see this desolate landscape, but the images eventually rekindled your interest knowing that the Neskoen Ghost Forest has become a must-see place to visit, especially when the tide is out. You are now more motivated than ever to go and visit this ghost forest one day. But above all, you feel proud to have discovered this little-known but legendary place.
Imagine that you are driving along a road to get somewhere. Suddenly, you notice something very surprising on your way. A gaping hole in the road. But when and how did this happen? Well, the questions you ask yourself later and the research you carry out allow you to discover that it is a chasm or sinkhole. The circular depression is due to the dissolution of surface limestone, especially in places with a subsoil called karstic. Some sinkholes can measure less than a meter or several hundred meters in diameter, be shallow or on the contrary very deep, be filled with water or not, etc. But the most surprising thing is that these natural holes appear without warning and can be dangerous. Many accidents have been reported due to the formation of these holes, some of which have been fatal. All this information gives you goosebumps and prevents you from sleeping peacefully at night for fear that an abyss will form under your house and swallow you. But don't worry, the truth is that it usually takes several years and a lot of mechanisms for a sinkhole to form. And if it makes you feel better, you can find out if the area you're in is prone to sinkhole formation or not with a geological map. If it turns out that the geology of your area does not favor the formation of sinkholes, there is no need to worry. This way you will feel more at ease and you will sleep better at night. Sure, you feel better now, but since you've learned how sinkholes form, you're more careful about where you step. You are now consulting a website about New York, the city you dream of visiting at least once in your life. But just as you decide to zoom in on the image of the Statue of Liberty, a headline suddenly catches your attention. Statue of Liberty, threatened by rising waters. Surprised and curious at the same time, you decide to quickly read this article about the emblematic monument of the Big Apple. As you read on, you discover that the Statue of Liberty is indeed in danger of disappearing because of rising water levels due to the global warming. Oh dear. You also discover that Liberty Island, the small island that houses the famous statue, had even been 75% flooded after Hurricane Sandy in October 2012. You're stunned by what you've just learned. However, your concerns subside soon after and your growing optimism leads you to believe that the Statue of Liberty is still there and that it still has many days ahead of it. Nevertheless, this has only motivated you more and you are more than ever determined to visit New York and its famous statue before it is too late, if ever what you have just read might happen. You have just discovered some dangerous phenomena that have happened or are likely to happen in the years, months or even weeks to come. Tell me, what do you think of all this? Leave us your impressions in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Did you like this video? Then don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss anything of our next publications.